Good morning. Nearly 32,000 migrants have reached the Canary Islands on fragile boats from West Africa this year, passing a previous record in 2006, so regional authorities confirmed yesterday. Since Friday, 739 people were rescued off El Hierro, the smallest and most westerly island in the archipelago, so Coast Guard said. Two people were found dead in four boats and two other people died later in hospital. The Canary Islands regional chief said the figures showed the scale of the humanitarian crisis faced by the islands and called for more help from the central government and the European Union. The number of arrivals has recently jumped as milder weather and calmer seas since September have made it more feasible to attempt the still perilous crossing from Africa. An announcement by the National Police last week was, in many respects, nothing out of the ordinary. Authorities regularly conduct operations to shut down or disrupt local pirate IPTV services. Police say they began investigating this particular organisation back in February 2022. From operations centres in Alicante and Sevilla, the suspects allegedly provided fraudulent multimedia content by installing apps on customers' devices, including set-top boxes, smart TVs and mobile phones. As a result, movies, TV shows and live sporting events were available at a rate much lower than the legitimate marketplace. The members of the criminal network were based in Alicante, Malaga and Valladolid. Police carried out raids on four locations and eight people were arrested. 366 million euros in losses were reported by police to the legitimate rights holders of the pirated content. According to police, the now dismantled service had 18,300 subscribers. So if the total losses are 366 million, each individual subscriber to the service caused losses to the rights holders of 20,000 euros. And a sailing boat was sunk in the Straits of Gibraltar in a new attack by killer whales. No one was hurt. Killer whale attacks have been occurring off the coast since July 2020. So far, these attacks have resulted in only sporadic damage, but now the whales have caused their first sinking. According to the Polish company, which specialises in tourist routes in various locations, the sailboat was attacked by a pod of killer whales. They attacked the yacht for some 45 minutes, causing serious damage and leaks. The events took place on October 31st. In view of the alarm caused by these attacks, the organisation Conservation, Information and Study of Cetaceans is collaborating with the Ministry for Ecological Transition in the tagging of the orcas. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.